Hey good people of YouTube, my name is Daniel Mann, I am a filmmaker and a spearfisher. I live in London and I used to live in Brisbane in Australia where I'd go spearfishing maybe every week or so. Um, for maybe like the last four years I've had a GoPro and I've captured some really cool footage. Um, I've just got hard drives upon hard drives of this stuff. Um, some cool stuff, but I've made some films up on my channel here and people really seem to like them, but it just takes a long time to gather all that footage to make a really well-crafted story and a lot of this footage that I've taken doesn't have all the extra bits I need to make a cool story. So I wanted to figure out a way to share this stuff on the internet without, you know, being boring and being, you know, without context. Let me explain that. Here's a photo of some old geezer. You'd be like, Dan, who's this guy? No idea, I've never seen him in my life before. That's just an old photo you've pulled from Google Images. Well, no, it's Edmund Hillary, the man that was first ever to the summit of Mount Everest, which is, you know, in the 50s without oxygen. Massive achievement. So it's like when I hold a fish up and you see a fish on the internet and you're like, well, cool, there's a fish, it's dead. But, you know, that doesn't really tell me much about how it got there. Example, here's a red emperor I shot. You go, yeah, cool, Dan, you shot a red emperor. They're really dumb. You know, they're, they're easy, considered a very easy fish to shoot. But this one was a little different. It didn't come to the surface that easy. So check this out and see what actually happened. So Tim has found this cool little rock off the Southern Barrier Reef that he thinks is going to hold Red Emperor. We both dive together and I was a little bit behind him. And by the time I get down there, he is already lining up on a red. This is what he sees. He thinks, well, you know, this is in the bag. How can I miss from here? He shoots this thing. His spear goes the whole way through, but his flopper was shut on the other side and it just slipped straight off his spear. I have to stop myself laughing until it comes close enough for me to shoot as well because it was going to head right into that cave there. At this stage, it was a bit of a blur what happened, but we were pretty stoked, I'm sure, on the way up that this fish was coming to the surface. You all right? My flopper's bugger, eh? That just went straight through that fish and came straight back out. This fish really isn't mine or Tim's fish. It's just a boat fish, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I actually took the fish home and got the fillets because they're super tasty and he had already shot a red earlier in the day, I think. But, you know, this is how we dive sometimes, you know, it's, it's, it's teamwork, it's not exactly, you know, record claiming and some people have a problem with it, but, you know, fish is in the boat, it's not wasted, everyone's happy. So guys, hopefully you like this video, if you enjoyed this style with a little more context, I've got loads of this type of footage with really cool fish, so if you want to see more of it, leave me a comment below. Uh, next video that's probably going to be up will be from Denmark. I'm heading there on Thursday for a competition. The water's going to be 8 degrees. Turbo cold, but super pumped. And I will share that video when I film it and get back. 